Sir, have you had anything to drink today? Nothing. Eugene! Wait a second, that's beer. Sir! That's sir, beer. I definitely think you're inebriated. Am I under arrest? You're free to drive. Drive, drive, drive. Let's go! Oh, Here we go! Oh, no, 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 In this epic four-part series, the Try Guys will test what it's like to drive under the influence four different ways. We're getting drunk, we're getting stoned, we're getting sleepy, and we're gonna be texting. We're doing this specifically to show you why you shouldn't do this. And we're gonna do it safely. So science, science and safety. Also safety is involved. It's science, ladies and gentlemen. Barely science. What dog? You just crushed a- You crushed a dog what already. What dog? When was her a dog? When was her a dog? <laughs> DUI driving. We are here at the beautiful Irwindale Speedway. We've got a closed course set up and we are gonna get irresponsibly educational. These scientific explorations that we do with real life applications are some of our favorite videos to produce. Because we're educating the children. You hear that all of these things are bad. I don't know how bad, because I've never done them. I don't do, well that's not true. Actually, I've kind of done them all. <laughs> I guarantee you, Every adult you know has probably done at least two out of the four things we're testing. Yeah, I've definitely had a couple beers or a couple glasses of wine and then driven home. To tell us about some of the dangers of DUI driving, we are going to talk to a traffic cop. I have 32 years of experience, 17 and a half years recently overseeing traffic crimes, many, many uh, collision investigations involving impaired driving. As well as a doctor who is also an addiction specialist. I think it's a good public service type of experiment because driving, doing any of these things, it's going to impair the person's ability to drive safely. Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. We have to get drunk. Yes, legally too drunk to drive a car. We've done a few videos on alcohol before, so we know how many drinks it takes to get us drunk. Therefore, we're gonna drink what we personally elect to. Yeah! yeah. We're in a skybox, baby. That is yeah, choice. Party. But first, we gotta take to the course to see how we do like normal human beings. Since this is science, we are going to be doing a control. I'm completely sober, gonna try out the course. We love you, with the car. Or not, you know, you know, no, feel free to, need to use it. feel it out. Go wild, Daddy. There are so many more drives. Today we are using my car. Because my car is the most new, I don't know why Keith is letting us use his car. I think that's a horrible idea. It wasn't really presented as an option. Let the record show we designed a course that is difficult when sober. First, we open on a straightaway, then an easy left turn that goes into a serpentine. We stop at a stop sign at a four-way intersection, take a simple left turn, into a lane change. Then we go into a stoplight, or at least someone holding a stoplight, because we tried to buy a stoplight, we couldn't find one, and it was expensive. Anyways, then we continue on to a fork in the road. At one point, we will have to put the car in reverse. We continue on to a couple of hairpin turns, and then the road narrows and narrows and narrows until the car can barely fit. We finish with a straightaway, and then finally, a parallel parking challenge. And of course, there will be a couple of surprises along the way. All right, this is my sober run. Here we go. He's talking so much. What do you think he's saying? Um, you know, as the best driver of the Try Guys, I feel like I'm gonna nail this course. The Try Guys are all actually pretty great drivers, so if you see us fuck up in these videos, it's because we're fucked up. Oh, Eugene. Yeah. Uh, oh, he could have made it. But you know what? He was better, better safe than sorry. sorry. If I make mistakes, how fucking embarrassing because it's my car. Maybe he'll be more careful because he doesn't want anyone to hurt his car. Yeah. Aw, oh, Zach, I'm doing great, sweet. Aw. All right, and we shall proceed slowly. Did somebody put Ned's baby in the car without me looking? He's driving so slow. Now with a baby, it's not just my own life I'm taking behind the wheel. My whole family's. He really almost made that stop sign. Oh, he's trying to take this with speed now. Ooh, that's a tight. I am an excellent driver. I am a terrible drinker. Wow. 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 He is the best driver. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I hate reversing like this. Weirdly, this is one of my favorite things to do just because people look so sexy when they reverse. Is he gonna make it? Do it. Oh, oh, no. Right. oh. no. I thought I could do it. We're gonna be measuring two things. One, how long it takes us. Two, how many cones we knock over. Oh, now he's just re driving <laughs> over oh, the God. same cone. Get out from under my car, you stupid cone! It's physically impossible to get through. That's how Wes was born. 
Okay, gross. Right, look, see? This is very funny though, I get it. Yeah. It is doable. I felt like it was a pretty good representation of typical traffic obstacles you'd have, but just condensed into a small course. How am I supposed to do this high or drunk or sleep deprived or anything? Since I was sober, I was able to do it all without hitting any cones. I really can't imagine this being much more difficult, regardless of what substance you put into me. We'll see. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar with the fact that drinking and driving is not a very safe thing to do, and in fact leads to many, many accidents and even deaths in this country. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Round boy. Two. In the United States, over 10,400 people die annually as a consequence of impaired driving. Before people go out to celebrate, we ask them to think how they're gonna come back home safely. We're, We're doing, doing it, it so you know why you don't do it. Oh, oh, cheers. oh, I see. So alcohol is a central nervous system depressant and it's going to slow the brain down. Yeah. It's like we're on The Bachelor. Okay. Mm -hmm. They just get them really drunk and then like, I'll have them go after the same person. Can I steal you for a second? Oh wow, this might be the alcohol talking, but I think we really have a connection. Hey Keith, can I borrow you for a second? <laughs> I don't really like the way that Ned pulled you because I, I could tell that you weren't into it. Can I buy you for a sec? Feel yeah. the jam. <laughs> yeah, man. I haven't picked the final one yet. Ned, you're going home. Oh, yeah! Sorry, man. Suck it, Ned! Suck it! You, you know leave what? him alone! This is I'll the hardest one! I need this is you! The if you were big enough, paradise. you would. Yeah! Wow! wow. Just wow. So hard. It won't seem on Paradise. Wow! We're gonna be in Paradise wow. together. I used to not drink very much and then I had a baby. Now, once the baby goes down for a nap, mandatory three glasses of wine. Here's to Ned's wife. What am I like drunk? I'm very loving. Oh my God, that is so sweet. I just want to party. Let's amp this up, guys. I have a really low tolerance. Any time that I drink too much, I get stomach aches. Go, go, go. But I gotta do it too, but but Everyone's different and some people are much more sensitive and can be impaired at a lower limit. I feel like the times that I actually get the most drunk is when the cameras are rolling for Try Guys videos. So you're playing. Now take your time, breathe. <laughs> Yeah. Drunk Keith is like everybody's friend. I mean, Keith in general is everybody's friend. Whereas some patients who are more chronic alcohol abusers can have a higher limit in their blood, but still seem like they're pretty sober. So it really depends on the person. Eugene had the most. Eight or nine drinks. That's so many in, That's in 30 minutes. That's crazy. I'm what people call an avid alcohol enthusiast. When I'm drunk, I'm confident. Does everyone here know what Big Dick Energy is? Once we start to get to about the legal limit, which is 0.08, then we start to see coordination problems. Pretty good. Problems with judgment. Depth perception can change. <laughs> <laughs> and as the person drinks more and more, this is going to get worse and worse. Zach. I hate working with you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Let's get drink some more Please. drinks. We have, but we gotta drive now. We'll see you on the race. Wait, we gotta breathalyze one more time. Point one, two, oh. All right. We're ready to drive. Before the traffic stop actually occurs, we look for indicators of how this person is driving. Sir, have you had anything to drink today? Well, you know, I had a couple glasses of wine. Yeah. Right. Have you been drinking today? I have not. Blatant uh, disrespect of the law. For science! Take you to court, then I'm gonna be the juror. You know what? No, don't argue, let me don't argue don't with the officer. The guy. Stop, Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! What we do is the field sobriety test. A person is gonna walk a line. Eyes of the windows to the soul. Seven. How many do you think I've taken? Give it some Our flair. Two. One, two, three. Yeah, there it is. Baby. One. Baby. Baby. What? Baby. Oh, my baby. 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 My, baby. I'm sorry, my friends are drunk. I'm the designated driver. It's so designatedly not. hot. Also, there is a finger to nose. Right. Left. Right. Left. 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 Right. Right. <laughs> Look at him, he's right. so cute. I didn't... A little inaccurate, but... Nah, I fucking nailed it. To elevate their foot six inches off the ground. Oh, it's... Okay. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, seven, one thousand. Eight one thousand. Look at me go, guys! I'm crushing this. We're at we we got have macaroons? macaroons right now. We got macaroons. <laughs> we have macaroons. All those are indicators of if that person is able to drive a motor vehicle safely. I can safely say you're very drunk. <laughs> okay. 
ready to dress. What's up? My name is Zach, and I'm, I'm too drunk to drive. So today, I'm gonna drive. Babies, are you safe? Is your seatbelt on? So safe. I feel like I'm at that party where you have a lot to drink and then you hang out for an hour and you're like, yeah, you know what, I think I'm okay to drive. Okay, let's just have a little beer. No, you can't drink the beer right <laughs> before. Beer. I'm tipsy, that's what I would say. Right now I would say I would be tipsy. Watch your most drunk friend fucking nail this. Drinking and driving is 100% preventable. You choose to drink and then drive. I don't even know how dangerous I am right now. Let's find out, bitch. Let's go! 100% preventable. Drive, 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 drive. Let's go! Oh, Here we go! Ned, 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 my car, my car, oh, dude, my shit. car, it's my car. Alcohol actually decreases your ability to make good judgments in your frontal lobe, the cortex, the part of your brain that helps with decision making. All right, here we go. So we're gonna drive. John, don't, don't, why, why is everybody oh like God, you're out like, so like Just drive like you would drive. So much. I'm driving like I would drive. Yeah. Are you? Oh shit, oh here we go. So we all have normally a nice filter that's going to say, you know what, maybe we shouldn't do this or maybe we shouldn't do that. All right. Let's go Keith, okay. Take it nice and safe, look, but not too slow, because I don't want people to think I'm drunk. But what happens when you start drinking alcohol is that filter starts to get diluted and go away. Gigi, would you drive right now, like for real, for real? I would drive right now. Oh my Hold god. This bar. And we're able to sort of say, oh, you know, it's okay. Let's go ahead and do these things that normally we wouldn't want to do. Yeah. Yeah. He knows what he yeah. wants. Yeah. 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 Go, 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 I think any adult who tells you that they have not pushed it just a little bit is lying to you. I'm gonna stop even though I don't have to. I've definitely been in that situation where I go out, I have a drink or two, and I feel fine, and then by the time I get home and I'm pulling into my driveway, I'm like, oh boy, I should not have done that. Ah, shit. Oh, you're in the middle of the intersection. What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, I, you were definitely in the middle of the Am I in the intersection? Okay, nobody's coming this way. Uh, what? Are you <laughs> kidding me? Where did that come How's from? How's the cone? Was the cone that looks, one real? The cone looks good. The cone looks good. I mean, I think a lot of people do this because it's really hard to gauge your own sobriety. I just knew this guy. I know this guy. He's always fucking with me. Everyone's always like, Keith just seems normal. And I could be like, super fucking slosh, and everybody's like, he's fine. Yes. Wow, that's very uh, aggressive. Oh my gosh, oh my Jesus. Uh, How's everyone doing? Uh, We're fucking doing great. I'm not proud of it, but I've driven drunk before. You fucking ready, bitches? Let's yeah, do it. we're all bitches. When I'm legally drunk, we've tested and proven that I feel sober, which is dangerous. Eugene has this. Eugene drinks, Eugene knows how to drive. Yeah, that's, he drinks. <laughs> wow, down. dude, that's and amazing. Don't kill anyone. Don't kill Mike. Okay, Mike, don't get yourself killed. <laughs> dude, be careful, bro. Be careful. Oh! Oh, shit! Oh, oh, no. oh. Ned, 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 Stop, bro, bro. Oh, fuck, oh, bro. Oh, bro, get us home uh, safe. Zach drives talking on the phone, stresses me out. Eugene drives listening to loud pop music, stresses me out. Keith drives like too safe, stresses me out. Put your head down and let me see at my back seat. Be careful. I drive just right. <laughs> Be careful, be careful. Wow, you crushing it though. Wow. Be careful, stop, wow. don't kill anyone. Stop, great. stop, wow. stop. so smart. Dude, oh. dude, stop fucking up my car. Keith, you look good, why don't you back that thing up? Well, you a fine mother, what you want you back that thing up? Which ones am I? I don't I know which hit. ones you're hitting. You're, you're hitting hit. some, for sure. You're hitting them right now, you're hitting them. What do I do? Back up. You may not be able to determine where your lane is going to be. You're going to be weaving throughout the lanes. What did I hit? The cone. No. And oftentimes, if you're really drunk, you're gonna fall asleep. You're in the intersection. Okay. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Let me try. Impairment affects your reaction time. Go home, you're stop drunk. Stop. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> and they cause uh, traffic collisions because of that. You think you're doing well, but you're reckless as fuck. No! What was that? What was that?
before people go out to celebrate, we ask them to think how they're going to come back home safely. Use public transportation, use a taxi, do not drink, and then drive. And of course, there will be a couple of surprises along the way. Oh, God! Was that a dog on a skateboard? <laughs> Why is that dog skateboarding? I would never hit a dog. I would never hit a dog. Here's the thing you do is that you think you're doing well, but you're reckless as fuck. You're reckless. That's a sign! No! What was that? What was that? I mean, go home. Stop sign. Oh shit! You got to be careful. No, Zach, no, Zach's up here. You're in the past second. Dog on skateboard. Blur. The Manariba. I'm gonna have Furious Wait. 7. Stop hitting stuff. You're good. Keith, stop, stop hitting cones. Stop I think you're good. I'm... What? What dog? What dog? Why was there a dog? When there is a loss of life, we have to respond and knock on the surviving family member's door and let them know that their loved one is not going to be coming home. And that can happen to anybody. Did you kill the dog? No. Wait, no, 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 That gives us motivation to do what we do and try to save lives by doing enforcement, by doing education such as this video. Oh, the dog's fine. Look at the dog. Get out of here. My God. You guys ever know anyone who got into a drunk driving accident? Whoa, yeah. Whoa. That's a lot heavier of a subject to turn to because they died. I just don't know else we're going to talk about it. They died? <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you drink and drive. Oh, I'm totally fine. I'm totally it. fine, guys. Oh, you're dragging it. The dog's over on that side. No, no, I think the dog's yeah, under your car. Dog. Stop! You're fucking up my car, bro! The closest it came to me is a drunk driver hit a car that my sister and her friends were in. Everyone was okay, so they got lucky. Yeah, I had a couple, dangerous. Uh, a couple kids in my high school die in drunk driving accidents. Mm -hmm. It really also depends on the age. So a younger driver, like 15, 16, 17, would have even more of an effect because they're not used to driving. It's not such an ingrained habit in their brain. Things were going so well. I thought it was going well. I don't know how to feel about this. Car crashes are the number one cause of accidental deaths for our young people in this country. We need to do everything we can to prevent them. Okay, we saved the dog. We got, we got it. it. We're good to go. The consequences of drinking and driving are very, very serious. First, the driver is gonna get arrested, is gonna lose his or her freedom. I wanna do this thing without fucking it up. The vehicle is gonna get impounded. The driver license is gonna get suspended. The insurance costs are gonna increase. You got it. Wow, he got it. No, we didn't. Yeah. Yeah. I would not call this getting it. Also, telling your employer, that you were arrested for drinking and driving, and that may have implications as a condition of your employment. The monetary cost is well over $10,000, taking everything into account. Go okay, for it, go, 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 yeah, you go, got, you got it, you got it. Wow! <laughs> this is a big old game You're of Jenga. God. Wow. Oop, oop, there's another cone. Help, 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 help. I did. <laughs> yeah! 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 <laughs> stop, dude, stop fucking up my car! <laughs> make him make out. I want him to kiss. Mm -hmm. Parallel park this bitch. Driving is very complex. So although we get used to it and it becomes a reflex after time, we need our vision, we need our hearing, we need our coordination. If you don't have all of those things going on, you're not gonna be able to be safe on the road. Done. We did it in USA! Good night. Good night. Good luck. AC. So what was everyone's final thoughts? <laughs> Uh, that we all crush it. I think I could fight you right now if you needed to. My reflexes are good. Did I hit a couple of cones? Maybe. Did I finish the course in half the time? Yes. Dog seemed okay. Dog skated away from the accident. That went exactly according to plan. What happened? It's the morning after driving drunk. I feel... I don't even remember everything about the drive. You know, I couldn't tell you all the things I did wrong. I remember feeling just this surge of confidence like I have never felt before. This was funny and fun because it was a simulation, but each one of those cones, I could be a pedestrian. I'm hearing what I actually did during the drive and it's so different from my memory of the drive. In my mind, I did pretty well, but if you look at it, I was a nightmare. And also my friends were there. <laughs> This is a pretty dangerous video. When you're driving, it's not just you. Everyone else is on the road too. And even if those mistakes were like small things initially, like clipping cones or clipping corners, when you're drunk and you hit something, it's a DUI. It's a $10,000 ticket and you go to jail. There's just no excuse not to take an Uber or a taxi. If there's no safe way to get to and from wherever you're partying, 
maybe today's not the day to party. You drive drunk once, you do great, you have this undeserved confidence for being drunk, now you've tricked yourself into thinking that you're good to go. This scar is from a car crash that I was in when I was in fourth grade. No one was drunk. That was just a normal people driving 30 miles per hour and I almost died. Nothing about a car is a game. If used incorrectly, it's a weapon. It's not just, here's a video, slap a band-aid on it, everyone's good. We individually, as people who do drink, need to examine the way that we approach our confidence and pride when we're drunk. And I think this video really helped me to change the way I approach my own drinking culture. And I think that's something I have to do in a life change. I think we all knew going into this video this was gonna end up bad. But we also wanted to experiment some other things. What's it like to be high and driving? Sleep deprived and driving? To text and drive? Three more videos to examine and compare what it's like to be under the influence and behind the wheel. Hit that subscribe button. Someone's gonna get hurt. You wanna see it. Can I just borrow you for a second? I think I've fallen in a deep hole and I need a strong man with a rope. And I just feel like that Zach is not in it for the right reasons. Remind me of your skill set. Dental hygienist assistant. That's what I thought.